Appalachian Outdoors back here with you. I'm going to give you a quick little in-hand look at a few of the neck knives we got around the house here. This one's the one I really want to show you. This is one I just picked up from Smoky Mountain Knife Works over the weekend. This is the uh, K-Bar Becker BK-14. It's a collaboration knife between Becker and Essie. What they done was they took the BK-11 here and the BK and the Essie Azula and combine the two. They took the blade of the BK-11 and added the handles of the SE Azula to come up with this knife, which is a really comfortable knife in the hand. The handle design is awesome, blade design is awesome. Best of both worlds. Uh, this is knife is from 1095 Tool Steel. The blade has got the coating on it to help protect it. It's a hefty little knife, pretty thick in the spine. Fits the hand really well, it's comfortable. Great little knife. Uh, I like to set mine up for the nef neck knife kit. Added a piece of paracord to it that I've gutted and added the ball chain to it so it's easy to break if you want to get it hung up on something you don't have to worry about choking yourself with it. Also keeps it quiet and don't let it slide around so much. Knife is sheath to the knife here is a, a hard plastic material. It locks the knife in really secure and it also has the additional lock with it to help keep the knife from losing the knife. It is not coming out of there. I added a ranger band or a piece of bicycle inner tube is what it really is but they, people call it a ranger band. Uh, added underneath it, you can add whatever you want to to your own personal kit. Myself, I added a lighter and a little capsule here. And I like to keep a uh, little tinder in. It's waterproof. Add me a little cotton in there just to have a little extra tinder for us to have to have it. On the back side, got a few strike anywhere matches. You want to add a ferro rod and probably a small compass to it a little later down the road. I'll give you a quick look at this knife compared to the other two knives that it was made after. There, there it is with the original BK-11 and here it is with a piece of grass there with the SE Azula. These, uh, these knives like I said was the BK-11 and the Azula combined to come up with the BK-14. Great knife, highly recommend it. I'll be doing trying to do another video of it and get to use it a little more, show you a little more about it. But uh, that's about all I got to show for you today. Appalachian Outdoors out. God bless.